but um, a couple things that I ordered were some dresses for my white coat ceremony, which is in like two weeks, I think. Um, I already opened one, so I ordered this dress from Reformation. I have never purchased from Reformation before, but it's definitely pricier. Um, this dress was $147, I think, or $148. Um, so I was expecting it to be like really nice material and unfortunately it literally is like t-shirt material. I don't know if you can tell just by looking at it, but it literally looks, feels exactly like a t-shirt. But it does look really nice on. So it has this like kind of mock neck situation and then almost like a cap tank sleeve. And then just goes down. It looks very odd, not on the body, but there's no like weird thing in the stomach. I don't know why it kind of looks like that, but the material just like stretches over. It looks smooth and nice. And then the back just has a seam. Um, and the cinching on the sides is not too noticeable. I obviously want this dress to look formal and modest and nice. So, um, yeah, I think that this fits the bill, but I am going to see if any of the other dresses I ordered maybe feel a bit more formal. Um, I got a new l 10 d tinted uh, sunscreen. I use this every single day. I just get mine at Derm Store, um, their website usually, but you can also get it like from your dermatology office. I love this sunscreen. I use it literally every single day. So I got a refill of that. And then I got this dress from this company called Petal and Pup. I have never ordered from them before or actually even heard of them. This one's black. I really wanted to wear chocolate brown if I could, but it's a lot harder to find a chocolate brown formal dress that is modest and professional than it is to find a black one. So I did order a black option here. Yeah, this one definitely looks more formal. I'll try this on with my coat and see how I feel, but this is an option. The material definitely feels nicer though, and this was cheaper, so that's a plus. And lastly, off of Etsy, I ordered some of these little pouches. First of all, I love how the hardware is gold. Love that, but I hope these are decent sizes. Um, so these are like a nylon I think they're supposed to be like a dupe of the stony clover bags. Um, obviously those are quite pricey. I got these ones off of Etsy and they were very affordable. The zipper feels very nice, which is a relief because I have been using, these are for like my book bag, um, but I have been using these bags off of Amazon that I got and they were green and white checkered. They were very cute, but um, Within a week, the zipper on the smaller bag broke, and then I ordered an exchange of the same bags, hoping that it was just a defective one, and it happened again. So I had to return those, and I needed something for my book bag for like chargers and electronic stuff, and then I needed one for pencils, pens, and then one for hand sanitizer, deodorant, lip balm, gum, that kind of stuff. So this size I thought might be good for like my chargers because it's just nice and small and I got the cream color. But yeah, I'm very impressed. These feel very nice. And then this is the medium size. So I guess I was intending on this one being for pencils and pens. It is quite large, but I guess then it can just fit more stuff in it. I can put like my dry erase markers, my whiteout, that kind of stuff. So that is another decent size. This would be really good for like makeup brushes or something. Then this is the large size. I was thinking that these were going to be more of a square shape, but they're more rectangular. So that's not like too huge, um, but I could fit like my wipes. I mean, you could fit a lot of stuff in here. This would be like a good makeup bag. I don't think it would be big enough for like all of my toiletries, but It'd be good for like a makeup bag. Yeah, I mean, I guess I can fit everything in here. I can do my wipes, my hand sanitizer. I'll actually show. I'm going to show what I keep in my book bag. This would be great for travel too. Um, if I didn't already have travel makeup and toiletry bags, I totally would buy some more for or from Etsy. But I think these will be perfect for my book bag. And they had so many colors, which was great. But I'm going to show what I keep in my book bag and we'll put it all in here. So this might seem excessive to some people, but this is the stuff that I keep 
in my book bag. Like I said, I had a bag previously for it, but I returned it because it was defective from Amazon. But this is stuff I could say I've literally used every single one of these items while out with just my book bag before. So I think that they are worth it. First, I always keep wipes with me. I like the wet ones, extra gentle but I literally use these all of the time. Um, my friends borrow them, like these are essential, especially if you're going to study somewhere and the table's a little dirty, like just give it a wipe. You just need wipes with you. I need wipes with me. Um, and then I always keep similar idea, hand sanitizer. This one my friend actually got for me. This is the Trader Joe's Lavender Hand Sanitizer Spray. So before I just had a pump one with me, which I do like, but the spray is genius and I love that it smells like lavender. It feels very luxurious when I pull this out and use it. So I really like the spray. Next is a hand lotion. This one is just from Aveeno. It's the Restorative Skin Therapy Oat Repairing Cream. I'm actually running low, so I will need to replace this soon, but my favorite hand lotion of all time in terms of scent, in terms of ingredients, this one's great, but in terms of scent and like luxurious feel, I love the Body Shop Shea Hand Cream. It's my favorite. I use it every single night before bed, but this one is really great for like on the go or during the day because it's not quite as heavy as the Body Shop one. Next is a mini deodorant. This is crucial. Um, since I live in South Carolina, it is very hot here. Um, luckily, we're kind of getting more into cooler weather, but even today it still is 80 degrees and it's mid-October. So um, I think this goes without saying that it's great to have deodorant on you. Same thought here, dry shampoo. Um, this unique one I got for my birthday from Sephora but I love having a mini one with me and this one smells great and I just feel like it's good to just have it with you in case you get a little sweaty or you need to just touch up. Again, similar idea is this little travel perfume. Um, this is from Being Frenchy from Target. This is Ashley Tisdale's line and this is the Cashmere Vanilla Glow On Perfume Oil. It smells so good um, and if you ever just feel like you need to freshen up a little bit, I feel like the dry shampoo deodorant perfume trio is like the key to just like freshen up everything. Next, this has also surprisingly come in handy so many times are just some tissues. Next, again, some people might think that I'm crazy, but I have some um, sunscreen mist so that I can reapply during the day or, you know, put some on my arms, my hands, and I'm gonna dry. <laughs> I am very interested in dermatology, so of course I have sunscreen with me. It'd be, it'd be weird if I didn't, you know? Um, you can also put on your scalp. I do that with this one. Next is mints and gum. Again, I literally use this all the time. I just have some Tic Tacs, and my favorite gum is the Extra Spearmint. Next, I have a nail file, and again, you might not think you need one, and I would never ever think that I would be the kind of person to carry a nail file in my bag, but my nails are rather long right now, so sometimes you just get like a jagged edge and it drives me crazy until I can file it. So I just have this one from Ulta, and I love that it has a case with it so it doesn't scratch anything. It's perfect for on the go. Next is my favorite product in this whole bag, I think. It is a lip balm, but more specifically, it is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in vanilla. And I originally purchased this when the Rode lip balm, lip oil, whatever, came out and everybody was saying it was so good. I love the Laneige lip mask for nighttime, but I don't wanna like dig my hands in it in public and they don't have a vanilla version of their squeezy tube. So this one is from Summer Fridays. It's vanilla, which is what I wanted and it's just so good. Next, I just have two hair ties, just a little thin one, and then a scrunchie. When I'm studying, oftentimes I like to put my hair up. I actually have a hair clip also. Um, I think it's still in my book bag, but I always take hair ties and a claw clip just in case I wanna just get my hair out of my face. I found the claw clip that I keep with me just same reason as the hair tie, keep it with me all the time. And the last thing is a snack of some sort because I cannot tell you how many times I'm in class and it's like 9 a.m. I just got there at 8 a.m. and I'm already hungry and I don't get to leave until noon for lunch. So um, I always like to keep a snack with me. My school does have like a little snack area where you can buy snacks, but it's always just nice to have something so you don't have to buy something. Um, these are the kind dark chocolate nuts and sea salt bars, and I really like their bars. I also really like their dark chocolate cherry one. 
Um, but these are more filling than you would think. I'm not usually that much of a bar person, but I actually do really like these kind of bars. So keep that with me just in case I get starving and I need something. <laughs> and lastly, again, this might seem silly to some people. I do not wear makeup every day, not even probably once a week, but, um, when I do wear makeup or sometimes if I just want a little bit of color on my lips, I like to have a lip liner with me. So this one is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. This is just like a really good, it's a little bit pinker than my lip color, but it looks very like natural on. So I like to just keep this little mini guy with me. And then sometimes I also keep eyebrow gel on me as well for the same reason. I just like once you like fix your eyebrows, you just look more put together. Um, this one is the NYX Brow Glue, which I love. It really holds your brows. That's everything I'm gonna keep in this little bag. I'm sure I'll add more stuff over time, but that is the stuff so far that I've accumulated. And yeah, this bag is nice and big. There's plenty more room if I wanna add more stuff, which is great, but I don't think this is so big that I can't like fit it in my book bag. So I'm gonna keep this in my book bag with all my goodies and then I'm gonna add my writing utensils and my other little school stuff and then my chargers to this one and then everything will be nice and compartmentalized in my book bag which will be awesome. myself getting in the productive mood it will make me feel more productive so I woke up this morning we have all like online kind of like self-guided classes today so I got to sleep in a little bit made myself some breakfast I did some chores around the apartment just like cleaning up the kitchen dishes stuff like that and I'm going to go to Target right now and have a pickup order to get. Um, Hayden's back has been hurting. So I got him a heating pad and some Aleve. And then I got some random things that I needed like hangers. And what else did I get? I don't really remember everything, but I will show what I pick up. My um, skincare routine is like my favorite it's probably ever been right now because it um just makes me feel very like put together in the morning to have something on my face but it's not makeup so i'll show what i use i'm pretty sure most of these are like very mainstream at this point so probably nothing too new but um I use the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream in the morning, and then typically I would go in with a serum of some sort. Um, I love this Timeless Vitamin C and Frulic Acid. This is my go-to vitamin C serum. I usually wear it every day, but I did not put it on today just because I forgot. Um, and I also love the Timeless Matrixyl 3000 Serum, but I just go back and forth. I use a bunch of different stuff. And then for my sunscreen, I go in with a mixture of the Super Goop glow screen and then the Elta MD tinted sunscreen and these together are just like the perfect the perfect sunscreen they um super group just came out with a darker shade for their glow screen which is very exciting so this is definitely more shade inclusive now the Elta MD I don't believe has another shade though so I will try to find something that has a little bit better of a shade range um but both of those are great products and then I go in with a couple more things so I have quite a bit of redness around my nose 
and the sunscreen isn't quite enough coverage to cover it up. And it's nothing like crazy. I most days don't do anything except for this, but if I have a little more time in the morning, I will just use some of this Hero Cosmetics Rescue Balm Breadcraft. It's just a color correcting green cream and it has definitely some moisturizing ingredients in there as well. So it's not like necessarily a makeup color corrector. It's more just like a skincare color corrector. Um, and I just use that around my nose and I don't know if you guys can tell, um, but it works so well. So if you have any like acne marks or rosacea, anything where you have just like some extra redness going on, I highly recommend using this. It's amazing. And you don't have to feel bad like you're using some like slimy color corrector because it's skincare. So that's great. And then under my eyes, I like to do a little bit of <laughs> brightening for my dark circles. So I use the Derma Doctor Dermatologically Defining Eye Radiance Cream and this has SPF 30. Um, cause some sunscreens can tend to burn around my eyes. Plus I want the added, um, brightening benefit that this one has. So I just put this under my eyes and also above my eyes. Sunscreen is important everywhere. When I worked at the dermatology office last year, it was shocking how many people would come in with skin cancers, like right on their eyelid margin. Um, I mean, when you think about it, like most people aren't getting sunscreen that close to their eyes. So this is definitely a great step. If sunscreens typically burn your eyes, just getting one that's meant for the eye area is great. Definitely helps me to just feel like a little bit more put together to do these steps in the morning so that I have like some color correction, some color on my face. So there I just went in with the Drunk Elephant Debronzy Drops. So they're like bronzing drops, you can just put them into like your sunscreen mixture or your moisturizer but i have been just using them literally like as a liquid bronzer just doing like my forehead and my cheekbones i was using benetint for a while but now i have started using these drunk elephant ooze rosy drops um so basically the same idea as their drunk el or as the uh, debronzy drops where they have some skincare ingredients in them but just provide kind of like a nice sheen and a little bit of a blush and I really like them. The last thing that I do is just some eyebrow gel. I go back and forth between the NYX Brow Glue and the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. The NYX definitely has better hold, um, but I think it's in my school bag right now. So. I just literally pick one or the other. I don't really mind. If I'm doing like a full face of makeup, I usually prefer the NYX because it does hold my brows better, but sometimes just for like a quick casual, um, like just wearing the sunscreen type of day, I'll just use the Essence one. And I'm just going to brush out my hair and pick out an outfit for the day. And I'm going to run to Target quickly, get my pickup order. And then I have a Zoom review session at noon for a test that I have on Friday. Today's Wednesday. Um, so I definitely want to go to that. So I think I'll be back just in time. And then after that, I'm just going to continue studying for the exam that I have Friday. Yesterday we had our first and only cell bio exam of the block, cell bio slash physiology. Um, so we had that yesterday and I did well and that is good because that is my only grade for that class We just had a quiz and an exam and that class is already over. So it's kind of crazy. We're Not even two weeks in the block. We already finished a course for the block But yeah, I have my first pathology exam this Friday and I forget if I mentioned but the second block at my school is musculoskeletal so the first block was all kind of like basic undergrad type sciences um and then this block we start with the systems based so this whole block is musculoskeletal so all of our classes revolve around that which is kind of nice to be more focused in on something so yeah that is what our second block is i'm gonna go pick up my outfit and then run to target okay i got back from running errands and i just had my pathology review session. I'm wearing my little talentless set today. This whole set was on clearance. 
Um, and I love the bright colors. So I got this a couple weeks ago. So cute. Um, but I'm going to show what I got from Target real quick. Oh, we start anatomy lab this week and I wanted to get some laundry sanitizer for my scrubs. So this is just some Lysol laundry sanitizer, but not with bleach. I got some masks also for anatomy lab so that I can just throw them out afterwards. And then from Ulta, I just got my favorite mascara, which is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. And then I also got some Kiss Lashes. I forgot that I got a package from them, so I need to look in there because if there are good ones in there, I could just return these. But I wanted something natural, but obviously something, a little something, because these I'm going to wear during my white coat ceremony so I was okay with them being um a little bit more expensive because this is their faux mink collection and I actually ordered more dresses off of forever 21 that I actually think are in my mail room so I'm gonna go get them but as of now I'm pretty much set that I'm wearing this so I'll probably end up returning those ones as well but um I wanted something brown because it's my favorite <laughs> and I think I will wear this again for sure like i think i could dress this down too then i wanted to do some heels so i actually got these from fashion nova um i saw a pair from manola blonic on the real real that looked very similar to this but they were a little bit more camely brown um and i obviously wanted a chocolate brown to match with the dress but the Manolas on the Real Real were $36. They were not my size, otherwise I would have bought them. But they looked exactly like these with like the sling back and the heel and everything. I think I might actually just go walk over now and get the packages. We ordered a trash can because the trash can we're currently using is actually supposed to go in our hallway because we have like valet trash or whatever where they come to the door and pick it up which is very nice but we're supposed to have that trash can in the hallway so we had to order a trash can i got that from target and that is in our mail room and then i think those dresses from forever 21 are there as well i am going to probably go pick up those packages really quick and then continue studying pathology that's pretty much it i'm also going to eat lunch i've been obsessed with grilled cheese and tomato soup lately i don't know why but i think i'm going to make that for lunch and then Get back to studying. I have to show this because I just got the best crisp on this bread. Got back from my lab a little bit ago, my skills lab, and we learned how to splint today. Um, which was very cool, but I had dinner and now making myself a little sweet snack. So I use the Chobani Greek yogurt. This one's strawberry. And then these are just from Aldi and they are so affordable. I usually do the dark chocolate, but we ran out. So these ones are semi-sweet and I love the little chocolate chunks. They're such a treat. <laughs> and then I just add some slivered almonds on top. So the chocolate's on the bottom and this is such a good sweet snack. Oh, wow. 